Let's look at another web work problem. Here we know something about the tangent and something about the cosine. Let's begin by drawing a picture. Okay, here's my xy coordinate system. I know that the tangent of theta is a negative 3 fourths. So where could that be? Where could we have a negative 3 fourths? The tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. So a negative 3 fourths, any point in this first quadrant is going to be positive, so it's not going to work. But over here in the second quadrant, I could have a, a, a negative 4 on the adjacent and 3 up. So there's a possibility I could be over here in the, in the uh, second quadrant. In the third quadrant, however, both the x value and the y value, the adjacent side and the opposite side, are both negative, so the tangent's going to be positive there. Over here in the in in the uh, fourth quadrant, the uh, the adjacent, the opposite side is going to be negative, and the adjacent side is going to be positive. So the tangent is going to be positive here, negative here positive here, and then negative again here. So it's in one of these two qu uh, quadrants. The second piece of information that we're given is that the cosine of theta is positive. So we've got to have the cosine being positive, and the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. That means that it's going to have to be over here. It's going to have to be in the fourth quadrant. You see, if it was in this quadrant, then the adjacent side would be negative, and so therefore the cosine would be negative, but, but in our problem, the cosine is positive. Okay, so let's uh, sketch in about what we've got. From, from the facts that we've been given, we know something like this, that we've got an angle theta, It comes around and puts us somehow into the fourth quadrant. And here's what we know about some of the measurements there. The tangent is a negative three-fourths. So this side here, this opposite side, will be a negative three, and the adjacent side is going to be four. Okay, so here's a, here's a representative point on uh, the terminal side right here. Okay, and that point happens to be 4, negative 3. That means that, that this hypotenuse is going to be the square root of 4 squared, or 16, plus negative 3 squared, which is 9, and the square root of that is, uh, that's the square root of 25, or in other words, this is just a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So, so that hypotenuse has a length of 5. Okay, so now we know all the parts of this, uh, this triangle, so we can write in each one of these pieces of information. The sine is going to be a negative 3 over 5. The cosine is going to be 4 over 5. The cotangent is the reciprocal of the tangent, so it's a negative 4 over 3. The secant is the reciprocal of a cosine, and the cosecant is the reciprocal of a sine. So we'll be able to write those in. I'm not going to put those, those figures in, but uh, <laughs> there you've got the information that you need to, to do that problem. Okay, great.